We got a new gameplay snippet from a video from IGN. It's not much, but it's something. Let's talk about it. Whoa. What's up guys, Canadian Gaia here and back with a tiny snippet of gameplay for the new upcoming Crash Bandicoot 4. In a recent video from IGN, they got a small new clip that was edited to heck, watermarked, and overall really didn't bring too much new info. But I edited their video down to only the new footage we got as well as connected the footage as much as possible. Cause again, it has some really dirty and questionable cuts. So let's take a look at the footage end to end and then let's see if we can squeeze out any new information. Like I said, it's not much, but you know, it's something. I will say again though, the game looks stunning and I cannot wait to play through it all. But let's go through the footage and point out everything that we can and see what's new. First thing that we see is a new pirate. Now at first, I thought this was a red dragon, but upon further inspection, it also could be a cute little red seahorse. Either or, it's actually kind of amazing and a really nice design. We can see the pirate ship with a giant hole through it that we actually see at the start of the reveal trailer as Crash rail grinds through, well, I guess time. We also see another look at the clock for the relic times, which I had mentioned in a previous video. A new mechanic that's been introduced is this wind turbulent effect. The first use of this mechanic is when Crash spins the enemy into the whirlwind that we see that these little possum like creatures are making with their swords. As the enemy begins to spin away, it gets caught in the whirlwind and curves into another enemy instead of just firing straight off. We might see mechanics of things being thrown into whirlwinds to get past puzzles and such, but nonetheless, quite an interesting mechanic and I'm excited to see how it's put into use. We also have a new explanation to those crates that we have seen before with the orange circles on them. They release bursts of fire and should only be broken when they're not pushing out flames. The seemingly meaningless danger will likely become a lot more dangerous if one of these get dropped into a pile of TNT or nitro crates. While rail grinding, we learn that Crash can also spin and hit boxes on the rails. There will likely not just be boxes, but will likely also have to spin away enemies crawling on the rails as well. That's about it in terms of brand new stuff. What did you guys think? Comment below and let me know. A huge thank you to all those who support the channel through Patreon and being a sponsor on the channel. If you'd like to help it out, check out the links in the description below where you can buy some CGE merch or become a Patreon. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming and nostalgic content. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.